Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, information, guidance, advice, and I want to begin uh, telling you stories of um, uh, Rabbi Schnur Zalman of Liadi. This is the Alter Rebbe, the Balatanya, the founder of the Chabad movement. And um, in the years immediately after his marriage, um, Rabbi Zalman uh, boarded with uh, his uh, in-laws, as was common in, uh, in those days. He had in his in-laws, in the eyes of his in-laws, he had a somewhat aloof manner. The way he was praying was different. And basically, uh, the way he served God was, in their eyes, very strange. They kept suggestion, they kept suggesting to their daughter, the altar of his wife, the young altar of his wife, that she should uh, maybe um, ask for a divorce. His wife wouldn't hear of it. No divorce, so the in-laws had to content themselves with making um, Rabbi Shnur Zalman uh, miserable. Um, they wouldn't give him any candles to study at night. He had to stand by the window and read by moonlight, when there was moonlight. In the winter, they would let him learn and study in the cold. This went on for um, quite some time, um, until at the age uh, of 20, he got permission from his wife to go to the great Magadha Mezrich to learn. She consented, she agreed that he should go there for a year and a half, and she was okay with that. Um, he became very learned, um, he and his wife got uh, together again, and he became rather famous um, in Hasidic circles. The in-laws began to regret the actions. The father-in-law passed away, and the mother-in-law um, really regretted. She repented. The, the, she said, I've treated him very badly. One day, uh, Rabbi Schneer Zalman um, comes to town, and she begs him, begs him for he and his wife to come back and live at, uh, at the house, just like they did in the old days. He steadfastly refused. She kept urging, please, please, I, I want to make up for, for what I did. And uh, Reb Shner Zalman gave a, an analogy. Um, he said, look, Who's better off than uh, an unborn child in the womb? In the womb, he has everything he can possibly ask ask for. All his nourishment is taken care of. He's secure. He's uh, he's warm, and a light shines over his head. And the, the entire time he's there, he's learning the entire Torah. Just before he's born, an angel gives him a little smack in the mouth. He forgets it all, and he's born. Um, and yet, even if he wanted to, the baby cannot return back to the womb because that time is over and he's now born and he's now grown and he can't be uh, an unborn child again. And um, it's such in my case, I have now grown to full measure, my full potential. I can't go back. Uh, we're going to be doing more stories about um, the Alter Rebbe and other Hasidic leaders. Um, please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding some uh, inspiration from it. And, and uh, uh, until next time, on behalf of the Imono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.